All right, bro. Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, this is a receiver. Uh, let me let me start by saying this is my second video out of three. I'm possibly possibly gonna drop, and I may drop even four before the draft. We'll see. It depends on like how I how I feel. But yeah, uh, this is my second video, and this could be a possibly. I really do not have a clue about it at all, and I'm glad I'm doing this video because. Yeah, we all know about Rome with Doomsday, but do we know the wide receiver too and Jalen McMillan that also came from Washington? Now, he gets like very like, you know, you know swept on the rug because he was teaming with Rome with Doomsday. Then his quarterback was uh, Michael Penix. And then he, he got offensive lineman. What's his name? I forgot his name, but he's like very highly talented in the draft. So, yeah, so it's very unfortunate that his name gets swept on the rug under those guys. But to be honest with you, it, from what I saw initially, um, it looked like he's just as good. If not, probably, you could say probably better in some aspects of the game than Roma Duze. But we we about to go ahead and get into the reading because I actually want to get updated about this player. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Jalen McMillan, the best kept secret in the 2024 draft. So he basically going to compare Jalen and Roma production in 2022. So, Jalen McMillan has 79 receptions, 1,098 yards, 9 touchdowns. Rome has 75 receptions, 1,145 yards, and 7 TDs. 2023, knee injury still had 559 yards and 5 touchdowns in 7 games. Getting 5 touchdowns. So, basically, he had 9 touchdowns the whole year, last year, and had 5 and 7 games this year. Mm, that's, that's crazy. So, yeah, uh, he's one is projected top 10 pick, and the other is a late third. I feel like him being like that, I feel like that's probably due to his injury. Probably, but I could be wrong. But let's go ahead and read. So, no, no with 2022 stats, Jalen was an absolute force before his injury 2023 season amongst drive wide receivers. Uh, receiving yards, he was top five. Receiving touchdowns, also top five. First downs, three. Uh, 430 yards at the catch, that's four. So, that's another top five ranking. Missed tackles, force, five, top five. He was right up there at the top, prime for Hughes 2023. Certified chain mover, whether through natural separation or yards after catch, Jalen gets the job done. In 2022, he had more 54 first downs than Rome, Malik Neighbors, Lad McConkey, who was one of the best separators in the draft. So that's also that's pretty amazing. Troy Franklin, he's a burner, and Keon Coleman. Only behind Marvin Harrison Jr. and Malachi Corley, he just makes plays. Listen, if you if you get a guy like that in your building, you gotta make sure those guys are straight. Make sure that you know the knee is good, and um, because having like a uh, like a reliable third down third is like very useful in this league. Trust me, it, it, being a fan of the Titans, having DeAndre Hopkins be that man for us this year compared to like an NWR, it definitely made a big difference in our offense. Okay, so toughness in traffic. I love the willingness to put his body on the line or put his body on the line in traffic. He always makes the extra effort plays to execute in tight quarters. He plays with no fear. This was a huge reason for Puka Nakua's success last year. That's a good comparison. That's definitely a good comparison. Athletic profile is started with the physical tools. He's a good foundation for the NFL. 6'1", 197, 4470. Uh, 447, wow. 447, 40 times, 37-inch vertical. His RS score was 175 with 1,063 receivers. Dang. Mm, okay. So his take, we're we're seeing receive buys in full effect. Jalen McMillan is an outstanding wide receiver prospect who will do damage in the NFL. He's currently my wide receiver 11 and 45-ranked prospect in the NFL draft. So, yeah, like I said, <clears throat> like I said at the beginning of this video, I had no clue of who Jalen McMillan was. Um, to be honest with you, I think they are. Yeah, I've let's say I've heard of him because I know they kept hyping up his uh Roman Duze. Well, not Roman Duze, but Washington's number two receiver that was like right alongside Roman Roman Duze. But I just never got his name because like what they said, like he just said, the knee injury really took him out the twenty twenty three season. So we really didn't get the chance to see a fully healthy Jalen McMillan. That's unfortunate. But the way it sounds, they say he's like a third down threat. He got he's very reliable. Uh, he's very physical and tough. 
And uh, if that's the case, then Puka Nakua, a comparison he made, was probably spot on because nobody really did see Puka Nakua break out until he actually did because uh, him and Matthew Stafford had that connection. It was like, it was crazy in real time because you you could see that him and Puka had better connection last year than uh, Stafford and Cup because Cooper Cup was like basically injured most of the season once again. And hopefully it's not a trend because he is approaching that age where um, his injury history is not going to be tolerated as much, but we'll see how that goes. But yeah, those 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 were my thoughts for Jacob and Miller. Hopefully you guys like, comment, subscribe. This is a bunch.